brothers and sisters. We offer this Holy Mass for the unity in our church. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We humbly ask you, Lord, lover of the human family, to pour out more fully upon us the grace of your spirit and grant that, walking worthily in the vocation, to which you have called us, we may be your witness to the truth before others and seek with confidence the unity of the all believers in the bond of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Philistines gathered for an attack on Israel. Israel went out to engage them in battle and camped at Ebenezer, while the Philistines camped at Aphek. The Philistines then drew up a battle formation against Israel. After a fierce struggle, Israel was defeated by the Philistines who slew about 4,000 men on the battlefield. When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel said, why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today by the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Shiloh that it may go into battle among us and save us from the grasp of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there the ark of the Lord of hosts who is enthroned upon the cherubim. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were with the ark of God. When the ark of the Lord arrived in the camp, all Israel shouted so loudly that the earth resounded. The Philistines, hearing the noise of shouting, asked, What can this loud shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? On learning that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were frightened. They said, Gods have come to their camp. They said also, Woe to us. This has never happened before. Woe to us. Who can deliver us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods that struck the Egyptians with various plagues and with pestilence. Take courage and be manly, Philistines. Otherwise, you will become slaves to the Hebrews as they were your slaves. So fight manfully. The Philistines fought, and Israel was defeated. Every man fled to his own tent. It was a disastrous defeat in which Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. 
the ark of God was captured, and Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were among the dead. The word of the Lord. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Yet now you have cast us off and put us in disgrace, and you go, go not forth with our enemies. You have let us be driven back by our foes. Those who hated us plundered us at will. You made us the reproach of our neighbors, the mockery and the scorn of those around us. You made us a byword among the nations, a laughingstock among the peoples. O Lord, because of your mercy. Why do you hide your face, forgetting our woe and our oppression? For our souls are bowed down to the dust, our bodies are pressed to the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Move with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no, see that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad, so that is what impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. This leper offered to us two attitudes, different attitudes. One is good, and the other one is not good. Good example from this leper. Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Humility is not aggressive petition to God. It's supplication. Beg it before him. If you want, Lord, you can help me. This is the principal virtue that we need in our prayers. Humility before the Lord, before God. Lord, you know me. You know my problems, my difficulties. If you wish, you can help me. This is good way in order to do a good prayer before Jesus Christ with humility not with arrogance or pride Lord I need these things if you don't answer me I left the church I left the prayer I don't to do more charity words 
No. The good way is humility before Jesus. If that things that you ask to him is good for you, the Lord give you. If it's not good, the Lord respond more slow in his time, not our time. And the bad example of these lepers, Jesus said to him, don't publicize this matter. And he did opposite, all contrary, immediately publicize the miracles that he received, disobedience. He received beautiful gift from Jesus, his health. And with this beautiful gift, he respond with disobedience. And it was and it was problems or problematic for Jesus because in that moment he can't enter openly in the other towns. Because many people just came to him for miracles. Publicize the miracles and many people just come to him for business, for interest. And that is the reason for what the leper is but example in this point. We need to be obedience. Obedience to Jesus Christ. If you receive many blessings from him, use that blessings, that things, for help Jesus. No, and the contrary, for hurt Jesus. Let us ask to the Lord that help us to increase in our humility virtue and always to be obedient to his teachings, his word. Let us pray in silence. With humility, we present our petitions to God. For the priests of the church who bear the ark of God through the battles of human history, that they may be worthy of their sacred charge for the sake of God's people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the areas of our world where war threatens or rages and each faction imagines God to be on its side, that both may be given the grace to see that God is on the side of justice, arbitration, and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For teachers and students at all levels of education, especially those in Catholic schools, that God may be honored among them and his moral values held in respect again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those afflicted with AIDS, for the imprisoned, the addicted, and the forgotten poor, that there may be someone to be moved with pity for them who will reach out hands of healing let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died on the battlefield or as victims of violence, and for all the dead, that Jesus may show his face to them and heal them with heaven's pure joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the unity in our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, hear our humble petitions and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus, our Lord.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> o Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him you brought us to the knowledge of your truth, so that by the bond of one faith and one baptism we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all the nations, so that in a wondrous manner he might prompt and engender unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children, and filling and ruling the whole church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> yes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Charles our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, have mercy. Excuse me, Eternal God, have mercy. My own say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 